Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my February favorites video for you guys. This month, or last month I should say, I haven't been really liking a few items just because so much has been going on that I haven't really noticed what I've been loving or using that many things compared to January. So I tried to look through my stash of everything that I own and see what new things I've been using often. And I have quite a few things to show you guys. Well, not a lot, but just a couple things that I've been using that I've really been liking a lot. Also, if you guys do enjoy my videos and watching them and you don't want to miss any of them, please hit that little bell button down below so you don't miss any time that I upload a new video. Also, if you guys could hit that big red subscribe button, that will help me out so much. Love you guys when you hit that button, it really helps me out a lot. And also, if you do enjoy this video, just give it a big thumbs up. So if you guys want to see what I've been loving for the month of February, just keep on watching. So I'm going to go kind of into like the beauty and skin and hair stuff right now. And then whatever else I've been loving, like random stuff, I'll do at the end. But the first item I've been loving is this wet dry brush. And this I actually got recommended from one of my cousins because she usually does like washing sets on my hair. If you don't know what a washing set is, it's basically... Like when you go to the hair salon, they put your hairs in rollers and dry it and underneath a big like hair dryer thing. And then they take it out and then they blow dry your hair. I don't know if that's the sort of thing. But then the wash part, they just wash your hair for you. Um, so yeah, my cousin usually does that for me and she recommended this brush to me. And this really helps to detangle my hair without pulling on it or tugging on it. And as you can see, it has like these open grooves inside the brush. Sorry, mine is a little bit dirty because my hair falls out so much. But it has these little open like grooves on the inside of the brush and that is great for when I'm blow drying my hair it lets more air into like my hair like it lets the air escape I don't know how to describe it but it's a great detangling brush I use in the shower all the time especially when I deep condition my hair and it's been helping so much I got mine off of Amazon the brand is I believe wet I'm not sure you could just search wet dry brush and it'll pop up and they have different kinds and colors also but I just got the big black one the next item is sort of a womanly item, so it's going to get a little bit awkward, maybe. But I have problems down there. Not serious problems. But sort of like if I, like let's say after I shower and everything, I'm fine. But throughout the day, I take medication or birth control, I don't mind saying. And that kind of affects that area down there, of course, because it's stopping you from having birth and your period and stuff. Um, so... That kind of produces things to happen down there sometimes like you might have little side effects and my side effect is sort of like the freshness part of down there it's not bad it's just like after I take a shower I notice that sometimes it gets a little like if I sweat throughout the day down there it gets a little bit weird so to keep that fresh down there I use this and this is the Summer Eve's Ulta Freshening Spray. And this has no aluminum, no talc, nothing, no bad stuff in it. And what I do is I kind of spray this in my underwear and also on my area, about like 8 inches apart, or 8 inches away I should say. And this just helps to keep me dry and like fresh throughout the entire day. Because down there it gets really moist, and I know people don't like the word moist. And I know this is kind of weird to talk about that I'm talking about, so I know it's kind of gross but it just helps me stay fresh down there um so if you guys have any problems like that in your virginia area i would definitely recommend to check this out and it smells delicious the next item is a hair product that i use all the time whenever i put my hair up in a bun or a ponytail and i want to have my baby hairs out or i just want to sleep down my bun and this is a can to shea butter for natural hair extra hold edge stay gel and this is basically like an edge gel if you guys know what that is um it basically just helps to keep like my flyaways and my baby hairs down without making it like hard and crusty and super shiny and all that jazz but i love this product it's so nice um it looks kind of like a i can't really describe it sort of looks like honey <laughs> in a way but this lasts like so long because i just take like a toothbrush and i just like rub it in the, on the top of it and then I'll use a toothbrush to lay down like my baby hairs and stuff and it really helps and 
you really do not need a lot of this. It's a little bit goes a long way. So I definitely recommend to check this out. I got mine from Target. I believe it was about like six bucks. Not too bad because it does last a while. The next item is a skincare product and this is the Sunday Riley CEO Micro Dissolve Cleansing Oil. And this has vitamin C, turmeric, and lime pearl extract. Now I don't know what lime pearl extract is, but vitamin C I know is very good for brightening up dark spots. And lately I've been struggling with dark spots and acne um, scars. And there's one that I have like right here in my eye. You can kind of see a little bit in this area. And I got that from a breakout because I was eating bad food on my ski trip that I went on a couple weeks ago. And it just didn't do me good. So I've been using this all over my face. What you do is you can either use this wet or dry. You take a little bit of pumps into your hand, you rub it and massage it into your skin, and it kind of feels like a dry, like, oil sort of thing. I can't really describe it. It's kind of weird, but you kind of, like, cleanse it into your skin, and then you wash it off, and I've noticed that this is helping to brighten up my skin quite a lot, and especially those spots, they brighten it up super quick. They're not completely gone, because, of course, I still have to keep on using this, but it's been helping so, so much. I actually got this for Christmas. Um, I'll link it down below on the Sephora website, but it's such a great product. I really recommend it if you are dealing with any acne um, scars or any dark spots on your skin. The next item is a beloved product I know here on YouTube. Um, there was a big trend going on with it a couple months ago or a while or like a year ago, I should say. But this is the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. This one I've had for quite a while. But I realize it doesn't expire for 24 months, so it lasts two years, and I think I had it for like a year. So I'll definitely be having to get another one, but as you can see, mine is definitely um, like almost done because I've been using it for so long. And I have the color Ginger, which is medium two. I do want to get Biscuit because I feel like when I get darker, Biscuit will look really nice. It's a little bit more warmer, which is, this is more of like an olive tone. But this is kind of expensive for me for concealer. I think it's like $30 or $35, but it's so good. It's not too matte, which is why it's called soft matte, but I'm wearing it today. It doesn't look right because my skin doesn't look right um, today, but it's just really lovely and nice and kind of moisturizing, but then matte at the same time. Um, so yeah, I really, really like this, and I'm so happy that I rediscovered it in my makeup collection. And I've been using it for like every single day for the month of February. The next item is a beauty tool that I've been using. And this is a Fenty Beauty sponge. Now mine is very dirty. Yes, I know. But I've been using it every day and I have to wash it this weekend, I promise. But I haven't used this when... Well, I didn't start using this until like a month after I got it. Um, I actually got it for Christmas with my Fenty Beauty foundation. And I used the foundation with my hands and brushes. And then I realized you're just supposed to use this. This is why they sell this because it works the best with the foundation. And I've been using it with the foundation and it blends it out so nice. And the thing is you're not even supposed to be use and the thing is you're not even supposed to use this wet. You're supposed to use this dry with the foundation, which it really does work. Um, I've even been using this for like concealer in my eye and it really helps to blend it out. And I just love the shape of it. It's like this like sort of like half egg shape and flat on this side and like the top you can get into like crevices and stuff I don't know but this is really awesome I'm not sure the price but I will definitely link it down below and the last sort of skincare beauty item that I had to share with you guys is this item that I actually did a review on which I will link up here for you guys and this is the L I believe it's the LJH yeah the LJH um, bio NCH toner and I actually reviewed this product for you guys and I love it so so much I believe it does have hyaluronic acid in it so it does help to keep my skin moisturized throughout this dry ass weather part of my French but I've used this like every single day morning and night and I've only used that much it comes with so much I believe this is like I'm not even sure how much is in here let me see well, everything's like in Japanese or something, so I can't tell exactly how many like milligrams or ounces this is, but it's so freaking good. It helps to moisturize my skin and keeps it so nice and smooth and tones at the same time. And I love these sort of applicators that these things come with, where you just press the cotton pad on top and it comes out. 
Um, I really enjoy those. But it's actually given this by a company called Go Selly that actually sells a bunch of like Korean skincare products. So yeah, you should definitely check this item out. I will link it down below. So that is all my physical favorites that I have to show you guys. Um, another favorite I have is something that I'm using right now, which is my new camera. I got a Sony A7S II, and as you guys can tell, it looks really dope. I like it a lot, and um, I'm actually going to be using it for a project that I'm actually creating, which you guys should stay tuned for, even though it probably won't come out until the end of this year. But I'm really into filmmaking, which is why I kind of did this YouTube video, not only for like beauty and fashion stuff, but also to practice on my editing skills and my filming skills, because I do like filmmaking. And that's why I kind of got this camera, even though the price hurt me so much, but I know it's definitely worth it. Um, so I've really been loving this Sony camera. I have a, I believe it's 24 or 28 um, millimeter lens to 70 I believe 28 to 70 millimeter lens f 1.8 and I have the 50 I have the 50 millimeter f 1.8 also and that one's really great for like close-up shots this one is a zoom lens so that's why I like it but the other one is actually a fixed one so it's more for like still shots if you're getting close-ups where you don't really need to zoom in and stuff um so yeah I've been really loving this camera that's one thing that I've been loving Another thing I've been loving is the TV show Everybody Loves Raymond. Now, I think my dad used to watch it a little bit like when it come on TV, but I always thought, like, oh, that looks so boring, like Seinfeld or something. But um, I've been keeping TV Land on, like, every single night. I don't know why, because I just thought, like, the Brady Bunch would still come on and stuff, but they don't want to play any of those shows anymore. The only shows that come on is the Andy Griffin show Mom. I never heard of it, but that's kind of good, too. Everybody Loves Raymond and Roseanne. And Roseanne is another one I've been loving, but Everybody Loves Raymond is hilarious, and I kind of want to buy the box set from Amazon, but it's at least, like, 90 bucks, so I don't know yet. But Roseanne is also another good one. I know my sister always used to watch it, but I always thought it was so boring, and I hate the theme song, that little, like, banjo-sounding beginning. I don't know. It always used to annoy me, but now I'm like, wow, this is actually a really funny show. The next two random things, which are sort of, like, food and beverage items I've been loving... Um, one of them is chocolate pudding. I've been loving chocolate pudding lately. I don't know why, but I got it on the ski trip, and that's the first time I had chocolate pudding in, like, years, and now I have, like, six packs in my fridge, which probably isn't that healthy, but I've really been loving it. And another thing I've been loving is smart water. You guys might know that I used to drink Fiji water, but it kind of got expensive, and I feel like smart water is the next best thing to Fiji, but it's a little bit less expensive. Which I've been loving. I kind of do notice the difference of taste, but it doesn't really matter anymore. I don't even remember how Fiji tastes. But yeah, I've been loving Smart Water, and it's really, really good. So that is all the favorites I have to share with you guys. I'm sorry if it was really boring and not as exciting as my other ones, but that is all that I've been loving, and I promise that March I will be finding a bunch of new things that I love. I plan to buy a lot of makeup this month and items that I've want for the springtime so you guys should be expecting a haul from that soon and then even more exciting favorites for the month of march so i hope you guys did enjoy this video please remember to thumbs it up and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one bye